What's cracking everybody, Sarah Fell Rose here, bringing you some Pokemon Go Bad League content. In today's video, we're taking a look at Titan in the Great League with the new addition of Powder Snow in this new Shared Skies PvP update for the season of Shared Skies. And uh, we're going to have Annihilate Double Ice. This is one of the teams that I featured in my video yesterday with the uh, best teams to try to test the new stuff out. We did some battles with Shadow Typhlosion as well, but they went about as you know, as well as rank one battles would go. So I didn't want to feature those battles just because I didn't, you know, I didn't feel like they were really worth showcasing. But we get a Deoxys lead in this first game here, and we are going to go straight with Annihilate, and the opponent's going to throw on seven. This could either be a Rock Slide or a Psycho Boost. I'm going to shield and respect the Psycho Boost, but the opponent actually sends the Rock Slide, so I'm going to send a bait back. It's funny how Rock Slide is technically the bait move in this scenario when... Psycho boost is actually cheaper, but we land the Night Slash and we get the boost. Annihilate. Angry Monkey is boosting here. Night Slash is probably going to get the shield this time. Opponent actually does shield up and we get another boost. Dude, the Angry Monkey is just unleashing itself right here. The opponent, you know, look at how much damage the counters are doing. One, two, three, four. Knocks out the Deoxys. Disgusting. And then in comes Amanda Buzz. Look at how much damage the counters are doing. Those air slashes from the Amanda Buzz are super effective, and they are doing about as much as the counters are doing from this monkey. Opponent shields up the Shadow Ball because that probably would have hurt, and they send a move at me before I'm able to get to the next Shadow Ball. So good counting by the opponent here. Um, I think they may have just gotten to the Aerial Ace anyway, but we're going to come in with the Titan now and look to start wreaking havoc with it. The opponent is going to go for another charge move here on five, as it is typically five to the move with Air Slash. They're going to go for the Aerial Ace here. I'm going to farm up some more energy. The opponent comes in with Carbink, and I'm really wishing my Annihilate was still here. We're going to send off an Avalanche, and actually what I'm thinking here, I see how much damage the Avalanche does, and I'm thinking there's a pretty, pretty solid chance that Drill Run is going to get this thing down into a reasonable range. So we're going to go for the Drill Run here after taking this Rock Slide. I know that it's not ideal here, but it's worth remembering when you're playing your games that just because you're taking super effective damage does not mean you're going to lose the game. Okay, Drill Run, going to connect, do plenty of damage here. And even though my Dugong is very low, the Dugong is going to be able to fire off an Icy Wind. Now I went for the Icy Wind just in case they... I, I don't think they can catch. I'm pretty sure they can't yet. But... I wasn't really paying as much attention to the switch timer as I would like to, but the opponent is not able to get to their charge move, so Titan's going to pop off the avalanche here, and that is going to knock out Mandibuzz and take the first game here. Well played to the opponent. Now, lots of good games. Stay tuned. The, the last game especially, insane, dude. We get a Swampert in the lead in this first game here, and I am actually going to look to try and catch the Hydro Cannon, because it just makes sense. They outpace you to the move here, as, you know, Night Slash isn't really worth them shielding. So we're able to catch the Hydro Cannon on the Dugong. The opponent stays in, and I'm assuming they're going to bank some energy and go, but they just throw in a Hydro Cannon at my Dugong, which is a questionable decision. Perhaps it's a single-moved Swampert. I don't know, but you definitely want to be throwing Earthquake in this scenario, or at least be building up to the Earthquake before you throw it. Dugong is going to fire off an Icy Wind. That is going to make the damage from this uh, Swampert much less now as it's getting that debuff. And they're going to go for another Hydro Cannon. They were not at the Earthquake yet, so I can safely no-shield this. And the opponent now comes in with a Zoomerol. And this is very awkward because Annihilate doesn't really like this matchup due to the Fairy typing. So I'm going to come in with my Satitan here, and I'm just going to hope that whatever's in the back may also be weak to Satitan and or Annihilate. Now, the opponent is only throwing on five here, so they're just they're just sending their moves as soon as they get them. They don't really seem to be interested in building up. Again, this is early ranks, right? Trainer could have a rank, you know, a, a single move Pokemon here. Very possible, but they do send this Ice Beam, but the Body Slam spam from Satitan is absolutely disgusting. We are able to get to another Body Slam before they can get to their next Ice Beam, or even a Play Rough here, and I am going to have to start shielding at some point. So I'm going to shield this move up here. Opponent, just going to go for the Play Rough here. Now, I think that there's a chance that maybe they did build up to uh, to the play rough and they baited with the ice beam. Certainly possible, but when I was playing, it felt like it was far too quick for the uh, opponent to actually be at the play rough. So that's why I know shielded. But you let me know in the comments if maybe my counts were off, as sometimes they are. But my opponent unable to get to the move before they get farmed down. And what's in the back? It's actually a rapid ash. So this is not by any means at all weak to anything I have on my team. But I'm going to go for the Body Slam here, and I have a Shield. I'm safely going to be able to get to a Shadow Ball here, and I'm just going to be able to let it go. We have, we have a Shield. We have a Shadow Ball. We're good. Monkey's angry, and he's going to take out the Spores. Good game to the opponent here. Well played. Rapidash is one of those things that absolutely gets respect on my Spice Meter, okay? 
Charge bug. Awkward. Okay. So really nothing. I mean, so Titan is is fine against charge bug, but the problem I have with that matchup is unfortunately that I don't want to safe swap this to Titan because if they have a steel or if they have like something to scar me in the back, I'm gonna have a bad time. So I'm gonna go for the night slash bait here. I'm hoping that maybe the opponent respects this and goes for the uh, goes for the shield. And thankfully they do. No boost here, but I'm gonna. I should have gone for the shadow ball. I was gonna try to do a charge attack priority, thinking maybe they would try to go for a move here. But instead they just go. They go for the extra fast move, and I pay dearly for it now as I'm forced to bring in my Titan here in order to try and deal with this charge bug. And I'm just gonna hope at this point that Dugong has play against their backline. They go for the X Scissor. It does a fair amount of damage, but I figure they have enough energy for two moves. I have to take one of them. I don't want to shield both of them because we, I don't even know what the opponent has in the back yet. I'm only going to be able to go for three Powder Snows because I want to make sure I get to be able to cut off their energy, and I don't know who wins charge attack priority. As the Titan is a completely new Pokemon to me, the opponent now comes in with a Toxapex. This is very, very not great because their water typing resists all of my fast moves at this point. The, their entire team just kind of so far core breaks my team pretty much all the way through. Like... All of their Pokemon have very good advantages over all three of mine, right? Annihilate would have been resisted here. They full send the Sludge Wave. I'm able to go for Drill Run here, but I'm going to build up some extra energy first just in case they do decide to shield this. Um, I can hit them with a second one very quickly. And the opponent now looks like they'll be within range for another Drill Run, so I'm going to try and send this one off before they get to another move here. And this should be enough to knock out, if not just barely, which it does. And then the opponent has a Mantine in the back, which normally I would be fine with, but Mantine is just far too bulky, and I'm forced to shield here in order to keep my Dugong alive. I don't actually know if an Aerial Ace would have knocked out, but my thinking is this move is going to be prior to a debuff, so I may as well, I may as well shield it, right? So now what I need to do is I need to try and see if I can land a move. I try to catch a move and I'm unsuccessful. Landing, being able to catch an aerial ace here would have been huge because I don't think it would have debuffed and they should have been able to get to a, um, a body slam here before the, yeah, I would have been able to get to the body slam before they farm me down and Dugong is very close to a move here. It would have been, I mean, I don't know if catching a move would have mattered at all here, but it would have made it maybe a little closer, maybe the same outcome. I don't know. Um, but unfortunately, not able to overcome the man scene after all the opponent's other Pokemon, so good game to them. That man team was just a problem, dude. Whiskash in the next game here. We got Dugong as a Titan in the back having good play here, but Annihilate also does just fine here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build up to a Shadow Ball. The opponent goes, I believe they just went for the Scald here. And I'm gonna if they get debuffed, and, and Scald does have a 30% debuff. Now, they come in with the Mandibuzz immediately after getting this debuff. Probably trying to catch the Shadow Ball. Um, so good attempt by them. And I, because they swapped, I actually didn't notice that they had swapped until after I brought in my Dugong already. I personally would have preferred to bring Satitan in here because I think that they have a Skarmory in the back and I would have much preferred to have Dugong on the Skarmory because of the fact that it takes that neutral damage instead of Satitan taking super effective damage with the... Um, with the, with the ice typing that it has from the steel wings. So, uh, but that's just my expectation, right? Because most often Skarmory is paired with the um, with with the sticky fish, right? So Whiskash also that thirty percent uh, Scald chance, nah, hundred percent against me. The opponent has a Deox and they're able to come snipe me down. But unfortunately for them, I have a Shadow Ball loaded on my Annihilate. So I'm gonna farm up to just before they get to their Psycho Boost here and throw my Shadow Ball. This will almost knock out, like very very close to knock out. And then the Shadow Ball is gonna. Get, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna let it. Let it go. They got a Psycho Boost here. It's fine with me. I'm gonna come in with the Titan. I'm gonna farm down one, two, three, four, five. Perfect farm down before they can get to the Psycho Boost. We have two shields. What's gonna be in the back? They're gonna bring in the Mandibuzz here, and I over farm here. I'm gonna go for the Avalanche. This is going to knock out the Mandibuzz, and then I believe no, they do have just the the, the Whiskash in the back, right? That's yeah. That, that was this is this is Whiskash. So Whiskash is gonna eat this Avalanche. Avalanche hurts, okay? Remember that this is a Psy Strike clone move. Avalanche does a lot of damage, even though Satitan is, is fairly... I think it's HP weighted here. Not a huge attack stat by any means. Um, it's kind of like Snorlax in such a way that like it has a lot of HP and not so much of, of other stats, but able to two-shield flex. Good game. So Titan is just an amazing sweeper. We get a neck, we get mirror leads in the next game here, and I hate this mirror. I'm not gonna lie. I have to. I always call the baits here. My opponent just, however, goes straight for the night slash without even bothering to build up to Shadow Ball. So this is an easy no shield for me. I'm gonna go for the night slash myself. I'm thinking maybe I should have gone for a Shadow Ball here because you know they already just went for the bait, and I should have just gone for straight for the Shadow Ball. 
But now we're going for Night Slashes, and I find out in this uh, in this uh, Charge Attack Priority event that I win Charge Attack Priority, and we get the boost. I'm going to go ahead and shield once here, see what the opponent wants to do. I am going to be able to get to another Night Slash here, and if the opponent decides to shield this, I could shield again, farm down, and continue to do whatever damage I can with my boosted Annihilate. They're going to let it go, save the shield advantage, and they're going to come in with a Feraligator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up to Night Slash. I'm going to come up with Dugong because I felt like I might be able to catch a Hydro Cannon here. My opponent was going to bot. They were likely to shield and farm all the way down. That's probably what their plan was. So now I swap in my Dugong here. The opponent does um, come in with their Skarmory, but thankfully, because of Dugong's uh, Ice Shard, Icy Wind, we are able to get to the move before they are because of the fact that they swap a little bit late. With good timing on three Ice Shards here into this two-turn move user, we are going to go for another Ice Wind, and at this point, gives the Titan the reins, baby. We're going to try to make this work. Now, I have to remember, I have the um, I have the Night Slash banked on my, um, on my Annihilate, so I'm going to come up with the Titan. What I need to do here is I need to be able to get to three moves. I need to be able to get to two Body Slams and a Night Slash. I've got the Night Slash already, and I know that my Annihilate wins Charge Attack priority against most, most for Alligators. As I do, I found out today, actually, it is a, um, it, it's attack, it, it's uh, IV dependent. That's what I was looking for. Brain not firing fast enough, the neurons aren't going. But we're able to get to the body slam here. And if I can just get to another body slam against this for alligator, I feel like I'm gonna be okay. But we're gonna see if I can get there. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think I'm gonna get there. So at the last second, I decide to pivot into the annihilate and go for this night slash. Please be enough. Please be enough. Thank you. It is just enough to take the game here. Good game. Well played to this opponent. We're getting into the next game here. We got annihilate on the lead versus lantern. Uh, Lantern got nerfed slightly. Its sparks do far, uh, a little bit less damage. It's just one. It's one less damage. They do five uh, five base damage. The opponent here is running Water Gun Lantern, which is kind of good news for my Dugong, to be honest. It, it makes that matchup significantly better for my Dugong. So I'm going to let them throw a move here. I'm like, they're going to throw Bolt or they're going to throw Surf. One of the two. I'm let it go. It's just the Surf. I'm immediately now going to pivot into my Dugong here. And the opponent is going to throw another charge move. But I'm like... This could be both. And I don't know the water gun counts off the top of my head. I know the water gun to serve because I've done a lot of Tapu Fini matchups, but the opponent now is going to try to swap into an Annihilate to try and catch that drill run where I hold the energy here knowing that they're not going to get to another surf very quickly, and I'm going to go for double Icy Winds against this Annihilate. Now, the thing is, is that my Annihilate is pretty low, so this is definitely not an ideal situation for it. My opponent throwing immediately here gives me a full free Ice Shard, and I don't think that they're at the shadow ball quite yet so they're gonna go for night slash here maybe hoping for a boost they're at another night slash i'm gonna let it go maybe i can get to another icy win that would be really awesome uh definitely will be able to now they go for the night slash not getting a boost here icy wind is going to do enough damage to bring this thing very low and or knock it out so opponent now comes in with lantern and at this point the opponent has no shield so titan's gonna come in and start getting to work i tried to go for the body slam right off the bat here but unfortunately the opponent does get to a move right away i i know at this point what they have in the back so i'm gonna shield a, what, again i don't know the counts off the top of my head i've lost track of the energy at this point could be a thunderbolt i'm gonna shield just in case the opponent not gonna be able to get to another charge move here and they have trevenant in the back this is really good for the Titans. The Titans just need to let one Avalanche loose, but because it takes six Shadow Claws to get to the first Seed Bomb, we are going to be able to nuke this thing. Boom! We take out. Good game. The Seed Bomb buff makes Trevenant interesting again, but not quite. G Fisk on the lead. Haven't seen one of these in a while. Opponent clearly core broken here as they stay in with the G Fisk. Looking to probably fire off an Earthquake. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here. And I realized what they were doing a little bit too late before I clicked the Shadow Ball. What I should have done was I should have just shielded and kept farming. Because I could have shielded this move here and I could have just farmed down. They go they full send the Earthquake trying to get a shield advantage here before getting countered down. My opponent now is going to come in with a Superior. I'm going to come in with my Dugong right away. And they counter swap in the Lantern. Because we kept the... Uh, the Annihilate healthy enough. We should be able to use it to deal with this Lantern. And so Titan will do fine here against the um, against the Superior as long as we keep a shield for it. As those uh, Frenzy Plants will hurt. Frenzy, uh, one thing to worth, also worth noting now. The Lantern matchup for Dugong is significantly better. Dugong actually wins the Zeros now because of the uh, debuff to or the, the nerf to Skull. Uh, I can't think, man. 
Nerf to Spark. It's been a long day. I'm, I'm recording this at night. It's, it's been a long day. Okay. Forgive me. Uh, but I'm going to look to go for the farm down here. The opponent making a last second swap. So I'm going to look to go for the double shadow ball and get this shield here if I can. Now the opponent is going to not double shadow ball. I'm thinking of a different game. Excuse me. Uh, opponent's going to go for their charge move here. I'm going to let them take me out. I need to save a shield because I think that that lantern may have a move. I'm not entirely certain, but I'm going to over farm here. I'm going to go ahead and build up to a bunch of energy. And essentially all I need to do is make sure that I live with, uh, use the shield. So uh, I'm going to go for the body slam bait here, hoping that we're going to get the shield. And again, I just need to make sure I have enough a shield left in case that lantern has a move. The opponent shields up. The avalanche is coming through. We got enough energy for body slam plus avalanche. That's going to clock out the serp. Boom! And the stinky fish goes down to a powder snow. Good game. Getting into the next battle, Annihilate Bundle versus Superior. This thing is all over the place right now. I'm going to go for five counters here and then look to try to swap onto my Dugong, thinking I might be able to catch an Aerial Ace, but uh, nope, I caught these hands, and Frenzy Plant is going to hurt, and at this point, I've already realized I've screwed up. So this is a situation where I know, oh, I've definitely screwed up. There is a Bastiodon in the back, but the nice thing here is is that I have lured out the Bastiodon. Annihilate will be able to farm it down completely, and hopefully this is the only thing that could beat Satitan on this team. That is that is why double, you know, double ice or you know ABB teams work. Basically, what we're using is the Dugong to pull out their hardest counter to the ice type, right? So we're pulling out the Bastiodon in order to hopefully free up Titan to be able to sweep in the end game. We've got a ton of energy from this farm. If the opponent comes in with the superior, they're gonna have a bad time because we're gonna be able to launch two shadow balls at them before they get to another move. Um because they threw the frenzy plant now it depends on how close they are to another move here i'm gonna go for two and the opponent was actually just one shy of the aerial ace so i am forced to shield here but i'm gonna go ahead and just full send the shadow ball and look to dip out immediately because i don't want to chance another opportunity for the opponent to just land a frenzy plant and make me pay for it so up to up one shield and in comes azumarill and you are now about to see some of the power of Satitan in these neutral matchups where Body Slam does enough damage. One, two, three, four Body Slams is all it's going to take. Ah, 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 ah. Pulling out my count. And uh, Body Slam, too, like you see, four of them is going to be enough to take out the Azumarill and the opponent. They are not doing too good as uh, up a shield here. We're going to be fine. Azumarill is not going to do enough damage with the player off, but I have to be careful here because the bubbles have been adding up quite a bit here. Satitan is... Kind of bulky, but not bulky enough to just be like, you know what? I'm uh, gonna just eat all this energy. It's not, it's not quite, it's not lick a tongue levels of bulky by any means. And ice typing is not exactly what I would consider a good typing, but here I'm able to come in with my, um, uh, oh, man, the brain just went pew. I'm able to come in with my Annihilate here. I should be able to reach this Night Slash before the opponent's going to be able to farm me down. I have a shield in order to get this move off here. So we're chilling here. Good game to the opponent. Night Slash taking out Superior, and we're going to move into the next game. Getting into the next battle, we got Annihilate versus Mantine. This is a very not good matchup. So I'm going to immediately pivot here into my Dugong. And the opponent has a Lantern. Oh boy. Good, good, good for us, Lantern. So I've been hard countered in the lead, hard countered in the switch. At this point, my hope here is to save shields, force a Titan. I'm able to get the two drill runs now, thanks to the Spark nerf. Um, I'm able to live a Thunderbolt here and get to the next move. That's how... Dugong wins the zeros against um, Lantern. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get this draw run off. The opponent wants to shield again. That's fine. If they don't, well, then we're going to go ahead and try and get Annihilate in here to take this thing out. Now, the problem I'm going to have here is that two moves is going to uh, come very close to knocking out. I'm going to no-shield the first one in case it's just, you know, if it's Thunderbolt, if it's Surf, it's fine. I'm considering shielding the second move here, um, but I basically know that I have to win this game with Titan. I'm going to try to land a Shadow Ball on the Mantine, so we shield up to preserve the energy here, and then I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball right away in order to land this move, or get the final shield from my opponent. Now, they're going to eat the Shadow Ball, I'm going to come in with my Satitan, and the opponent has a Whisk Cash. This is a winnable matchup here for Satitan. I'm going to go for the uh, Avalanche right away here, hoping that they don't shield because they know that they can live a move. Thankfully, they do. It's hard to say. Like, sometimes, especially before the Scald nerf, Trainers would literally just shield the first move and just bank for the bank for the debuff. But now we know that we win charge attack priority against Whiskash. Something else I learned this is the first time I'm playing some Titan. Um, Body Slam is going to get the final shield. And I feel like I have a chance here, but I have to play this right. 
right? So we're going to go and shield up the Scald. Thankfully, no debuff. Drop down to 30%. We're good with that. I'm going to go for enough just to be able to get to a move here before they're able to get to their next Mud Bomb. And I have to hope now that I can just get to the Avalanche. But the opponent is going to go ahead and throw their move and we're able to catch. This, is, this should knock out my Annihilate. But the opponent undercharges it perfectly. Very nice play by this opponent. I'm not going to be able to get to my Avalanche, unfortunately, and I'm pretty confident a Body Slam wasn't going to cut it there. So they're going to be able to take this game. Very close one to my opponent. Very well done by them. Good game. I know when I get outplayed. I was absolutely outplayed. In the next game, we got an Ivysaur on the lead, and it's got Razor Leaf, dude. As soon as I swapped in my Dugong and saw the Razor Leaf, I cried. The opponent now is able to catch a move on their Jellicent. Now... Jellicent's a hard counter. Dude, I am getting clapped left and right, but watch this game, okay? This game, the end of this game is incredible. Just stay glued to your seats. If you've been with me this long, I appreciate you guys for watching, but this battle is worth the wait. I promise. This is a win, and you're going to see how, okay? So, the opponent's going to go for a move here. I'm going to let this go. I figure at this point, you know, I'm going to try to come up with Annihilate, but they're going to throw the Surf. I'm going to be able to get this Drill Run off here, and this actually is going to be nearly enough damage to knock out the Jellicent. The opponent shields it. Now I'm going to come immediately with my Annihilate to avoid getting farmed down. And the opponent's going to full send Shadow Ball. I'm like, oh, oh, thankfully the attack drop made it so that they have to throw another move. Now, if that if they weren't given the attack drop from Dugong, that would have cleanly one shot my Annihilate. So they're going to go for Surf here. And now with a shield advantage, it's all up to Satitan. So Titan's going to come in. The opponent shows they have a Zoomeral, meaning that they have Ivysaur double water. And... I, what I have to do in this game is manage my energy perfectly. I have to make sure that I get enough body slams to take out this Azumarill, make sure the opponent doesn't catch a body slam on their Jellicent when I don't want them to, or the Avalanche that I need to have stored for the Ivysaur. Now, they did build up to a player off, so I'm going to respect it here. We're going to go for four more moves and then go for the body slam here. And I'm thinking... If the opponent wants to try to throw a move here and knock me out, they're going to do it right away. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for three, catch, and they throw the play rough. We're able to catch the play rough here, and that Azu is looking like it's in farm down range. We're going to be able to come in and start farming. The opponent's got two bubbles. They go for Jellicent, and they have a move ready. I was not prepared for that, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and shield. I'm going to build up some more energy so I can try to make sure that I have that avalanche ready to go. I've got max energy. We're ready to rip. We're going to let this body slam go. The opponent, not in enough HP to live the double resisted body slam. I'm going to go for a shield bait here with my body slam, hoping that this is going to threaten the shield. The opponent shields we're going straight for avalanche avalanche we got enough energy for it and now we just need to get to that body slam against the azumarill or farm it down azumarill coming back in we're both low hp so titan with literally one hp and a dream is going to get this body slam off and take out this azumarill and that is going to be a good game very well played to this opponent i did not think i was going to win this game but man so titan is amazing dude you keep it away from steals and fires, and this thing can absolutely pop off. Powder Snow is exactly what it needed to become meta-relevant. It gets a lot of good wins in the Great League here. And even though this is early season where we like to have fun, this thing is absolutely worth it if you have one built. Mine, you can see my IVs. I just built what I had, to be honest. I didn't have any, like, rank ones or anything. I just built what I had, but it was good enough. This thing is absolutely bonkers, and it's a lot of fun to play. So this team's a good one to fit for a Titan. Um, if you don't have Dugong, you could use something like Lickitung, or if you don't have Annihilate, you could use, like, Deoxys or some other anti-fighter, right? You need to have something that's, like, a solid anti-fighter. But that's going to do it for me for today, guys. I'm going to try to do videos every day this week to get some of the, you know, the new stuff out and out of the way or some exciting content in general. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you very much. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.